In 2007, De La Salle University, with its faculty members and students, embarked into a uh, project where we basically uh, designed, okay, built, and operated a solar car. The solar car project of De La Salle University actually started with the first ever solar car here in the Philippines, Sinag. The next car that we made was in 2009 with CCAT. This solar car, we toured around the Philippines with the primary goal of teaching Filipinos the technology that we use for the solar car. So this year, we built CCAT 2 and raised that in Australia. We placed third in our category, which is the adventure class. Now, the solar car project has been conceptualized to actually address the problem in relation to the environment okay, caused by fossil fuels. We see the solar car project and uh, the races that we join in as a venue in demonstrating what we can do as Filipinos. We consider the solar car project as a venue where we can do research. In fact, we uh, incorporated into the framework of undergraduate research the participation of the students in the solar car project. We tried to merge the interests of the students and also their requirements in, the, in their particular curriculum so they are uh, pursuing their interest okay, in this area, not only because it's, it's fun, but it's relevant. The solar car project is very, very important for DLSU and also for the Philippines, primarily because the world is running out of fossil fuels and our research, what we're doing here with the solar car is working on a vehicle that uses renewable energy to power itself. And with renewable energy, it is free. It is there for forever until we have the sun, we can use it. And we continue to work on this solar car so that we will be able to bring this technology to the Filipino people.